Snapshots play a crucial role in data protection and recovery in Stone Fusion. In this demo, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating and managing snapshots for NAS volumes. First, let's create a NAS segment. Navigate to the NAS tab, select Volumes, then Segment, and click on Segment Create. Provide a name for the segment, choose Manual Create, allocate the desired capacity, and click Submit. Once the NAS segment is created, we can proceed to create a NAS volume. Go to NAS, Volumes, Create New Volume, and then click Allocate. In the NAS Volume Creation section, specify a name for the volume. Choose whether to export it via CIFS or NFS, both supported for immutable snapshots, and click Submit. After the NAS volume is created, the next step is to create Snapspace for it. Go to the Sand tab. Select Volumes, Configure Volumes, Manage Snapshot, and click on General. From the drop-down, select the newly created NAS volume and click Create Snapspace. Here, you can designate the capacity for snapshots. It is recommended to allocate at least 20% of the NAS volume size, or more, depending on the change rate. After allocating the size, click Submit. In the event of Snapspace running out of space, you can manually expand it or configure the system's behavior automatically. Choose between preserving the live volume or preserving the snapshot. Preserving the live volume allows writing to the volume but prevents taking snapshots until snapspace is manually expanded. Preserving the snapshot discontinues writes to the volume, locking it down. Now, let's proceed to create the snapshots. Go back to the NAS tab, select Volumes, Summary, Click Snap Management, and then General. Choose the newly created volume from the drop-down and click Enable Snapshots. In the General tab, you can immediately take a manual snapshot if needed and set the Snapspace full write behavior as discussed earlier. In the Schedule tab, you have the flexibility to schedule monthly, weekly, daily, or hourly cycles according to your requirements. The system allows for granular control over the timing and retention of snapshots. In the Details tab, you will find a list of all the snapshots. Since we just created the volume in this example, there are no snapshots yet. Let's create one manually by providing a snapshot name and clicking Take Snapshot. Confirm when prompted. The snapshot count will update accordingly. Accessing a snapshot volume for file recovery or volume restoration follows the same UNC path as the original volume, with the addition of a leading slash followed by the snapshot name. Users need the name of the specific snapshot from the administrator. As long as they have access to the original volume, they will also have access to its snapshots. Remember that snapshots are immutable, meaning users can only read and restore from them. Modifying or deleting snapshots during the retention period is not possible. Stone Fusion allows for a maximum of 64 snapshots per volume and a total of 8 snap-enabled volumes per appliance. These limits can be adjusted based on the change rate and client preferences, considering the available system resources. Furthermore, an optional Veeam agent is available within Stone Fusion, allowing administrators to configure virtually unlimited incremental backups as required. The Veeam agent operates independently, utilizing its own change block tracking system and running locally on the appliance for faster backups with minimal latency. Alternatively, the Veeam agent can be installed on a network-connected appliance if desired. Contact Stonefly to request a free Stone Fusion test drive.